All right, so now that we're all updated, we're ready to get rockin' and rollin' in Houdini. So the first thing we need to do is hit tab and type in geo. So you start typing a name, it's gonna narrow it down to what you're typing. In this case, geo is gonna grab us the geometry node. So we can hit enter. And of course, tab's gonna bring up that uh, selection. If you do tab in the viewport, it's gonna give you a few more viewport options, plus some of the stuff you can do in here. And if you're in the node view, you can go over here and you can either browse through here or just start typing. So we've put a geometry node in here on the object level. So when I double click here, you're gonna see we're gonna go into the geometry nodes. We're down one level, we've kind of drilled into geo. Inside this geometry node, we're gonna go ahead and hit tab again, start typing file, hit enter, and we're gonna drop in a file node. This file node is going to be what allows us to bring something into Houdini, uh, in this case our FBX file. So we're going to go over here and click this little white arrow. And it might be easier uh, if you don't have your folder structure set up or any favorites saved. You can go over here uh, just to Windows Explorer and I'm going to go browse to this folder here. So I'm going to control C that directory and we're just going to paste it right here in the file name, hit enter. And now we're going to bring in our farmer high.fbx. So just double click that. And here we go. So now we can see our farmer high in our viewport over here. And if you want to, we can get rid of this grid, we just toggle this grid off over here. Now you could do, if we hit tab and start typing in multi, you're going to see there's a labs multi file that you can bring in here. Uh, you can bring in multiple files with this node, but in this case we just brought in an FBX that had a bunch of different objects with it. So if you remember uh, when we we're in ZBrush, all of our subtools are visible, so glass, headgear, teeth, body, and eyes, and then we have the vert colors filled in, and then we know up here to tool export, and we exported all of this as an FBX file. So when we did that, and then we imported it into Houdini, which is what we just did, we still have access to all those pieces. In order to see that, let's go over here to this white arrow, and then underneath the Select drop-down menu, go down here to Name Attribute. So now you can see we have body, eyes, glass, headgear, and teeth that was all packed in that FBX file, and of course our uh, vertex color, which you can see. As we hover over these, you're going to see it kind of uh, does a little washout. You can actually, uh, with color, you can go over here to this button and say Turn Off Color Groups and Viewport. So now we have our file in Houdini and we have access to these name attributes. And in fact, if you hover over this, or if you middle mouse click on this file node, let's go ahead and drag it over here so you can see a little bit better. You're gonna see here's our point count, here's our vertices, here's our polygons. And then any two primitive attributes, you're gonna see we have a name string and a shot material path. The name that's being brought in is our primitive attribute that allows us to keep our name. So we're gonna be juggling that name and making sure that we keep that name uh, as we progress through Houdini. Speaking of poly count, if you hit the D key, D is in dog, Go over here to the Guides tab, and underneath Additional Information, Geometry Information, you can say Always On, and then down here in the bottom it'll show you uh, your primitives and your points if you always want to have access to that for any selected node.